Here we are in another series of our fascinating lectures in physical chemistry. In this uh, lecture, we're going to, or this part of lecture four, we're going to talk about ideal gases, re-examine them in the light of the first law of thermodynamics. We learned quite a bit about ideal gases in introductory chemistry, and here we're going to continue that on a higher level. But first, uh, let's talk about some nomenclature. Here's some terms here that we'll be using uh, when we talk about thermodynamics. Some of them are fairly obvious and others perhaps are not. Let's first talk about adiabatic. Adiabatic means that Q is equal to zero. So you're in an adiabatic process where you go from some initial state to some final state and no heat is transferred to or from the system, then that process is called an adiabatic process. Isothermal, as you might expect, that means that the change in temperature is zero. Isobaric, bar, a unit of temp uh, pressure. Isobaric means that the change in pressure is zero. Isochoric, delta V, change in volume is zero, going from the initial to final state. Ice enthalpic, delta H is equal to zero. And ice entropic, we haven't talked about the second law of thermodynamics, but perhaps you remember about entropy from introductory chemistry. Ice entropic means that delta S equals zero. So they all seem pretty uh, obvious, except perhaps adiabatic and isochoric. That should be choric. <laughs> Sorry, misspelled. C-H-O-R-I-C, isochoric. 